Happy early St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Thank you for watching News Channel 15. Of course, the 185th St. Patrick's Day Parade is going to step off in just a few days, but the party has already begun downtown. The annual greeting of the Fourth Highest Park Fountain took place last Friday, with parade officials pouring in the green dye, symbolizing the festivities in Savannah. Yesterday, the parade committee went before Savannah City Council to apply for the official St. Patty's Day Parade permit. With a little bit of joking and bribing, the permit was handed over and the parade will step off again on Tuesday. And with St. Patrick's Day being Savannah's biggest event, local businesses are really banking on the festival to bring in some much needed revenue. Hotels are getting booked rather quickly and stores are stocking up with green beer and lots of it. The police department is also gearing up for the St. Patrick's Day fun. They will be patrolling high volume areas downtown in City Market and on River Street in uniform and as undercover officers. Taking a live look now at River Street, it's not too busy right now, but crowds should begin to roll in pretty soon. And remember, if you need any more information on St. Patrick's Day, don't hesitate and go on over to twitter.com slash newschannel15 where you'll get the breaking news of the day and information about St. Patrick's Day. And of course, you can look at our other video that we provided for you. It has the basic information about St. Patrick's Day in Savannah parking and things you should do, things you should not do, how to get here, all that information in that video. So thank you for watching New Show 15, of course, and we'll be on pretty soon to bring you the information, videos, and the news from the St. Patrick's Day events in Savannah. Thanks, have a great day.